The Stevens County Fire Department is warning its residents that it may take longer to respond to your calls for help after one of its trucks was stolen and another badly damaged. Crime 2's Amanda Rowley went to Stevens County today to learn more about what's happened and how the crimes are now impacting emergency services. Stevens County Emergency Services have had a rough week. Not only did the District 2 Fire Chief notice that their truck had been severely damaged, but he also discovered that their brush truck, which is usually parked right here, is gone. It was stolen. So Chief Rick Anderson says this means their station is out of business for the foreseeable future. Stevens County Fire District 2 is ready to handle any challenge that comes their way. But operating without its only two functioning fire trucks, that's one challenge they never expected. Chief Rick Anderson is the one who discovered the missing fire truck. As the fire chief, you know, you always kind of glance at your facilities you drive by and I drove by and I uh, slammed on the brakes and said, all right, who left the door open? To his surprise, the brush truck was gone. Then he checked the structure fire truck and found several things missing, including the radio and the batteries. It was like, oh, this can't be happening. Uh, you know, we're just a little volunteer fire department. Without their trucks, they're relying on neighboring fire stations to respond for the time being. So that means the next available truck is at Hunter's, so that puts another 15 minutes out to 20 minutes out for initial response. Anderson is anxious to find the stolen fire truck and get it back into service. That's because he says wildfires are the biggest threat to his community and wildfire season is quickly approaching. The optimistic side of me says that somebody's gonna call and say, hey, it's parked under a tree, come and get it. Chief Anderson is also the 911 director for Stevens County. He heard the news about an impaired driver ramming into a county ambulance. Deputies arrested the driver for DUI, and the ambulance, it's still in service. You just can't make this stuff up. Emergency officials are hoping this is the end of a streak of some very bad luck for the sake of their community. In Stevens County, Amanda Rowley, Krem 2 News.